Hey guys, so just making a quick video, making it quick. This is if nobody's um, electrically inclined or mechanically inclined, um, this is probably not a video for you. I'm going to try my best to do one um, one on one beginners, but it's going to be for people who have a little, you know, um, a little knowledge of electrical things or, or mechanicals. Um, this is a, a Yamaha DGX 660. I believe um, and maybe I should show you that the keys are not working prior to doing that this because I saw a few things where people showed that it was um, behind the keys will get real dirty and I gotta tell you this is real dirt this is just inside this is how dirty it is so most likely there is dirt and that will fix it so let me real quick just to show you I'm gonna turn it around to show you that the keys actually are not not working so if we fix it you see that cleaning it does fix it but the first thing i did because this is the one that comes with this uh, my son's piano teacher bought this for him and there's a screw right there and right there that is holding it and then it basically you first slide it in here and then you put the screw on okay so the piano is gonna have um a screw which you just See, it goes right here, and then you slide that part in, and then you screw it, okay? So we took out basically the outer screws. They're all long, all the outer screws, they're long. And now we're going to take all of these screws. So it's a lot. It's a pain in the behind, but you have to take all these screws. Let me just show you real quick that the keys are actually not working. So again, as you can see, the Yamaha and this is the 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 Brett portable grand DGX 660 that's the PF okay so as you can see first one works 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 doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work and that work and then here doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work and works. So it's probably this section we're gonna take out. This section of keys, cause the other one works. I'm not gonna mess with it. So just wanted to show you. Now, like I told you prior, you're gonna take all the screws in the bottom off. So once I got that off, then we'll go to the next step. All right, so I just took all, all the screws, okay? And I noticed that I can lift this up and there's cables back there, so you gotta watch out. But see, I can lift it up there's cables in there so i think i have to flip this around because somehow i gotta get all the another piece off because um the keys i gotta flip it around and then and then the keys are still gonna be under this plastic so i think i have to take off these screws that you see there those screws i'll have to take those off to to pull out the plastic and be able to unscrew the key so we'll see on the next step all right so i have to quickly as you can see the speakers i have to disconnect the speakers to get this off and they are connected as you can see right there that that white black red and brown cable i have to pull that off so i could disconnect this from the speaker completely then i have a lot more screws to take off so I could get to the keys from the top. So we'll disconnect the speakers and we'll move on. Okay, so as far as I see, this doesn't really need to come off. And these are the ones that are like right here on the edge. I don't think they need to come off from what I see. But I believe these need to come off the one in there to take the front of the piano. That's the only way you could get into the keys from the back. So. It's kind of hard, man, but I'm, I just took one off. They're real thin. The ones for the inner ones in there, they're thin. They're long, but thin. They're not like the thick ones here. See that from the outside. These ones are thin. And for these ones, they're short. But again, you don't. I don't think you need to take this off, but I'll let you know. So let's try this. Okay, so apparently either this one's different from the same model I saw on YouTube or something. 
because the one on YouTube, you're able to just lift that up and mess with this. With this. But apparently this one, as you can see, the keys come out from the top, see? Which is, is, is way different. Unless, no, see, because this doesn't come out. Let me see. Yep, this doesn't come, oh. All right, so we'll, yeah, no, see, it won't come out. So that means that I gotta take the, the ribbon cable, I gotta take this process of the ribbon cable and then pull this out. There's no other way. I can't take the ribbon cable from there. As you can see, it's crazy. Same model, but different way of taking out the keys. This one's definitely more complex, but here we have some fat chubby screws. Fast chubby screws, so three different kind of screws so far. So, all right, guys, I gotta, you know, do this with the camera off because I gotta be very gentle. I gotta take this processor out um, and take the ribbon before I even attempt to pull this out because I have to, see? I gotta pull this whole thing out. And I'm hoping that that would, let me see, yeah, because I don't want to hit this with metal or nothing. All right, so. I'll do that next and then we'll go for this one is definitely complex. I guess the one that comes with this is very different. Very different from the one I saw on YouTube. The rest is put in the bag. But as you can see, I had to pull it out like I showed you guys. I had to pull it out of there. See? So it's different. I can't just I can't just take this and flip it like most piano. This one's complex because the keyboard goes under here. So there's no way to pull the keyboard out. Let me see, was I able to pull it? Nope, I couldn't pull it from, from the top because I still had to pull out that cable from there, which made it hard. But um, yeah, now I'm gonna take out the things. I took out the screws because it's just this area that's messed up, but it's real dirty. This piano is super dirty. This is, look, look at that, see? So that's why I'll cause them from playing. I don't know if I want to take it. If my wife comes and help me, I'll take the whole thing and clean it piece by piece. And hopefully that'll fix it. But right now I'm just going to take this, this section out. I'm hoping that that's all I need and I could pop this section out. And But there we go. So you saw how the whole thing fell out? So I'm going to pull it out and then... Let me see. I don't, I don't want to break this so it's hard to recording but you see see how dirty it is and that underneath that comes off see this comes off too as you can see you know i'll have to pull this out the circuitry looks fine so i think it's just dirty it's just dirty under there so i'm just gonna clean this section like i said i'm not gonna I am not gonna mess with the other ones. I'm gonna leave them as e is, and hopefully, you know, it'll last a while without messing up. Um, we'll go from there and we'll see. We'll see if it works. To put it back, same way, backwards. So again, this is not for novice people, it's for people who are, who are mechanically and electrical, electrically inclined, more, more mechanically right now. So I'm gonna clean this, of course, with contact cleaner, or 99% alcohol, and then you wanna dry it, you wanna blow some air in it and stuff. And we'll go from there. What is this? Okay, okay, so here we go. All right, guys, so this was nasty. See, I haven't cleaned over here, and it's still all dirty, but we see that I, we don't think it's dust. I found this thing was real rusty. You see this right there? So we don't think this is due to dust, as you can see. See how rusty it is? So that's damaged. So this piano will have to go in for repair. I could do it, but I don't have nowhere to place this piano so I could fix it. Um, I don't know if the traces, the tra well, it looks a little bit off right there. So maybe the traces went bad. I'll, I'll see, yeah, I'll see if I use the, my thing done, and there you go, yeah, oh yeah, the traces are dead, can you see it there, so these traces are dead, this is the reason why this piano is not playing, 
Uh, this is a real complex job because as you can see, you see those traces, see how they're cut? You have to put it under a microscope and all that. Maybe water fell on it or something. But yeah, like it's a little complex for me to mess with it. I don't have microscope or none of that. But at least we found out what it was. Um, I don't know if I should leave it at that and take it to a piano place, take the board and it'll be cheap. I, I don't know, but he's still having piano lesson, but this is, see, those traces are gone. So maybe, or maybe I could order a new board. I'll find out if I can order a new board and I'll just put a new board in it since we know that's the problem.